Woo! So today what we got, we're gonna fix that up there. Finish putting the panel that goes there and also on the side, the end wall right here. There's a panel that goes there. And then um, after that, I'm gonna get to the roll up sides. This is what we didn't get a chance to finish while Carlos was here, but all this is, you know, this is minor things I can do by myself. So it's not a really a big deal at all. So that, that up there, and then finish the rest of the inside and then we can get this system up and running. Get some fish in there and uh, get it running. So I'm excited, so let's see what happens. finished um, wasn't anything too bad just got to get it um, pretty much get the screws in there on both sides and then the back end and then cut the slack off nothing hard about that the hard part is gonna be getting that up there because I got to get up here on this ladder and then um, trying to put pressure on the nails while I'm trying to hold my balance on the now on the ladder that's gonna be you know a little bit challenging but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to it so I mean I really don't have too much of an option this is a pretty high high tunnel i mean hence the name high tunnel so i'm gonna have to get up there and do that so check me out That was me securing it in place. It's still all wrinkly and stuff right now, so now I have to go up with the bolts and then go ahead and um, pull it tight and tighten it up on there. So um, it's, it's a little windy out here right now, so it's definitely a bit uh, more difficult to do it right now. Um, but nonetheless, it's not too bad overall, so we'll keep going. Right there is no joke, man. I feel like my arm, wrist, and hand are about to fall off. This right here is no joke, man. Woo. This thing is no joke, man. That thing up there, man, will make you respect it. You will respect that piece by the time you're finished. Now, it wouldn't have been so bad if I had a taller ladder. When I go up there, I'm able to put more pressure, and um, it makes it easier to put the um, to put the, uh, the 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 bolts in there or the um, nails or the screws, whatever the heck it is. Put the screws in there. So the only thing I'm missing was a taller ladder, and then it would have been it would have been much easier. So that being said, that piece is done. I still have this piece right there. Boom. And I'm not gonna do that piece today because I respect letting the body heal. <laughs> the thing up there made me respect it, man. It looks easy, but um, like I say, it was challenging because of the size ladder I have. So I'm gonna wait on that piece. I still have this piece right here to finish, right here. That's no problem. I can do that because I can. Um, I have enough um, leverage where I can apply pressure, so it's not a big deal. But um, other than that, man, we're moving along, so let's keep it going. Looks like that's gonna be the end of the night. Um, tomorrow, I might get out here and go to war with that, man. I might go to war with that one and put that one up, but I have to think about it. But I know for sure I'm gonna do the roll-up sides, which are gonna be over here, and on that side, boom, over there. And when I'm finished, yeah, I probably will go ahead and get that over with, man. I probably will go ahead and get that over with, so. Um, today was a, you know, a pretty average day, nothing too crazy. Um, the sun is down now, 
So I'm about to go ready, get ready to go inside, uh, get me something to eat. I haven't eaten all day. I haven't touched a single calorie or consumed a single calorie all day today. So I'm gonna go in there and eat the entire house right now. Well, probably not the entire house, but I'm not. I'm, I'm hungry, but I'm not super, super hungry. Um, I do a thing called intermittent fasting, where it's you choose like a time. Some people do it differently, but usually when I go into it, I'll do maybe one meal a day. But that will take care of all the calories that my body needs. I'll, you know, consume all the correct uh, foods that I need to eat, and then I'll get all my calories in that one um, uh, sitting right there. And um, that has a lot of beneficial factors when you do the research on it. So maybe if you guys haven't seen it, uh, you can go look into it. Intermittent fasting. But one thing it does is take some, it takes some, um, some control. You gotta have some self-control. So you gotta have a lot of willpower in your mind, and then your body eventually gets used to it. You know, most people think most people think that the only way to eat is three times a day, and that's absolutely not true. So I'm gonna get ready to go inside right now. Um, and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Last night, I wanted to go ahead and test something uh, before going in, and I end up finding out that the freaking well water was not working, man. Boom. So I don't know what's going on. I got the well guy on his way right now, and we got to get this fixed because we need some water around here. No water, no aquaponics. So. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking that I might have to replace the entire pump in the well. That's what I'm thinking. But it could be like a capacitor or something that's causing the electrical outage. And we will see. But we will see. Stuff like that. Oh, okay. No water in. You say you lost water a couple times? Uh, yeah, it came off a, a few times. And I kind of like wiggled the, um, the breaker over there. And for some reason it came on. I don't know. But then I tried to see if it was the breaker and nothing so yeah i'm not sure i just said you know i don't have time to fix that so i'll just go ahead and call <laughs> i'll just go ahead and call can you turn the breaker off for me yep let me take it off turn it off where are you from i'm from vegas from where vegas came out here yeah about four years ago you, you been out here for a while yeah i've been here 36 years oh man <laughs> I'm from Indiana. okay what, what brought you out here business uh, back in 81, the interest rates went 14%. I used to pour basement walls for houses and stuff. Oh, okay. There wasn't no work left. Nobody would, could afford to build a damn house. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you had to relocate. Yeah, well, yeah. my in-laws live down here, so that's what brought me here. And I thought, well, I'll give Florida three years and see how I like it. And end up staying, <laughs> end up staying a much longer. Yeah, but I still love my home state. Back home. Do you, go, do you ever go back? Oh, I go back a lot. Okay. I got 93 acres up there now in a little valley with a creek running through the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Deer and stuff roaming all yeah. over. Yeah. You know? Okay, so did you do this pump here? Because it has your it has your name on the I've thing. I've been here. Oh, okay, so you, been yeah, here. you've been here. Okay, so you... I've been here. It's a smart thing. You put your <laughs> put your number and, and, look, and contact number right there. That's, right. A, that's, that's the first one I called. All right. Get all right. That switch. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So it was that thing right there, huh? It was getting a bad electrical signal. Yeah, see how rusted up and stuff it was. Yeah, there. I see. Yes, sir. You see these it's contacts here all burn oh, up. Okay, that's why, yeah. I figured it was an electrical problem. You figured right. Yep. And how you paying, check or check? Uh, well, how much do I owe you? It's gonna be 165. Okay, I'll just pay with uh, cash. All right, thank you, Kenny. Anything else right. happens, I'll definitely be all getting right. in contact you. with you. Nice meeting you. All right, nice meeting you too. Okay, so what we got right now, is the roll-up size so i'm gonna go ahead and get to that right now um and we should knock that out today i'm just gonna sit down gotta look through the instructions real quick and uh, we should jump right on it Okay, we are finished with the 
um, the roll up side assembly for both sides. Got this part rolled up right here. Boom. Let's get on over here. That's one side. And then the other assembly is over here. Er, boom. Right there. So we're working on that right now. So the only thing next I have to do is to install the ropes that are going to pretty much hold the roll up sides in place. They're pretty much going to go um, inside of some little eye, bolt, uh, eye bolts. And then um, they're going to go... Um, do a pattern across and then that's pretty much going to keep the side panel stable um that's pretty much it right now i think that'll be it for the day um i'm not sure i think i want to do more but you can see that the sun is pretty much dropping and um, i'm not sure if i'm going to keep going but maybe 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 i'll find something else to do out here or maybe i'll go inside and do some administrative stuff so i'll have to see all right so the bolts are in boom now from here i just have to put in the rope all right All right, finish with the roll up size. Finally, all of them got the strings on there. I don't know if you can see it right now, it's pretty dark. You see the strings up there that I was telling you about that keeps it in place? That's on that side. And the strings on that side, you can see it going um, up and down. So that's gonna hold it in place. Um, so before I call it a day for the night, man, I wanted to go ahead and answer one question that I got um, from a few people um, about about the hoop house and uh, the question was does a hoop house work in Florida is that something that makes sense in Florida and uh, the answer is absolutely it makes sense depending on your preference it absolutely makes sense and does it work and it absolutely will work it will serve the purpose um, that I have for it and the reason that I use hoop houses or high tunnels or some type of covering is because here in Central Florida it rains a lot it has a lot of raining and also it gets very very windy so um i've had it i've already had systems without any covering on there and uh when the wind comes through here especially when i had my nft system set up it just it, i mean it's blowing things out of the pipe uh wind damage on the leaves so it's just a lot of things that occur a lot of damage to the plants and also i don't like working under in, in those elements i don't want to come outside uh, to my aquaponic system and it's all rainy and windy all over the place that's not that's not the type of environment that i want to work in so boom the high tunnel it is every single time i'm not setting up anything outside uh, of a covering so uh, that's the purpose of putting a hoop house yes it does work here in, in florida absolutely now as far as the heat as far as the heat goes that's the point of these roll-up sides the roll-up sides that's the point of having them you roll them up it lets the heat escape you're gonna have some ventilation. I have roll-up sides right here in the front. That's the point of that and right here in the back So all of this plenty of ventilation that can pass through here and uh, push that hot air out and uh, keep uh, uh, Circulating new uh, fresh air in here. So absolutely it works um, These roll-up sides these are probably gonna be up probably 10 months out of the year. I may put these things down maybe February maybe late January and February and that's it after that is it so this is pretty much how it's gonna stay um, and that's fine with me like I said long as I'm not in the rain or in the wind you know then that's fine with me I like working in peace so sometimes I'll come out here I'll shoot videos when it's crazy uh, uh, raining a lot and then when it's crazy windy and I'll be in here and it, it'll be it won't have no effect uh, not any effect on me so that's the answer to that question um, there that is the end uh, for working outside for the night go back in get some food eat the whole house um, and then see what else start planning for tomorrow and do a little bit extra work for tonight and then uh, I think that'll be it for me so uh, thanks for tuning in and then I'll see you guys on the next episode Woo!